Okay, here is a little circuit with a big responsibility. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. This is going to be the preamp for my computer's microphone. As you can see, it's a tiny little thing. And already my camera's battery is running out. It's going to be powered off USB. Got USB off cut from a iPod cable, which I'm going to use to power this thing. Got to remember, the red wire is the positive, the black wire is the ground. The green and white wires will not be needed. And here's the connector cable that I'm going to use to connect it to the computer sound card. Oh dear, look at this. Look at this cable they've used. A horrible enamel coated stuff. This connector came from a cheap headset, so. could really expect that. And also, I don't know if you can see it, but this isn't even screened. There's absolutely no kind of shielding on this cable whatsoever. But thankfully, since it's a short piece of cable, I don't think it will cause too much trouble. Anyway, I've got to try and get this stuff off now so I can connect it to the rest of the thing. And here we are. It's all done. This is the rather messy soldering job at the back. And here's how it looks from the front end. Just trying to angle it so the light, you can see it in the light. Have the USB connection for the power. You might be able to see that I've shielded the, um, I've connected the shield and the negative together. Also have this wire here that goes into the microphone input on the sound card and on the other end there's a long wire and on the other end a little electric condenser microphone thing so I just gotta insulate this and connect it up to my computer and see if it works and here we are at the back of my computer doesn't look like I'm going to need to insulate anything after all because if you see how I've put this on here I've taped the microphone wire in there and as we follow it down you can see it's connected there well you would see if the camera would actually focus on it And there's the connector in the microphone socket on the sound card. Now for some reason, the microphone input on my sound card seems to be more like a line level input, which is why I've made this amplifier. Because it just does not seem to be able to pick up from anything, any kind of microphone, so there we go. Now, I'm going to test this thing. Well, Murphy is certainly making my life difficult at the moment. I tried this in the computer just now, and guess what? Yep, it don't work. So his law is really strong on this thing. For starters, the power from the USB it does not seem to be very stable. When I had this connected, all I could hear through the uh, microphone input of the computer was an a really weird buzz and if that's not enough I found out that this stupid cable has got a break in it somewhere so the signal from the microphone isn't even getting through the amplifier does work because I haven't tested it previously and if that's not enough 
I've lost the nut that goes into the tripod, so I have to have to hold the camera again. So I'm gonna try to fix those things now and see if I can actually make this thing work. And would you know I've unplugged the soldering iron as well, so I can't wait for that to heat up again because I thought this was going to be okay. So yeah, things are really trying my patience tonight. Well, it's certainly starting to look more complicated now. I've added this capacitor and this resistor here to decouple the power from the computer. So the power from the computer goes through this resistor and then into this capacitor here. And the two terminals of the capacitor are connected to the preamps power connections. So we should get pretty smooth power through that. And of course I've replaced the microphone cable. So with any luck this should now work. Okay, well I have it hooked up to my computer. Into the microphone socket at the back. And you're never going to believe this, but it actually works! If I just tap the microphone... You might be able to hear it through the speakers. When I speak into the microphone, you can hear it through the speakers. I don't know if you can tell if that's me speaking, or if you can hear it through the... Tell if that's the speakers. This little microphone capsule does seem to pick up a lot of treble, but I'm just going to Audacity and try to record something. Okay, don't keep the temporary files. Turn the camera's light off. Start Audacity recording. Now speak into the microphone. And you can see I'm speaking into the microphone. And it is recording very, very cleanly. Yes, I'm pretty happy with that. And here's the schematic if you want to have a quick look at it. So until next time, goodbye. Next time, on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, Clem will make some improvements to his Philips SHP2500 headphones. That's next time, on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop.